Hey Buns, today we are going to be talking about the Novice Network in Final Fantasy XIV. The fuck is that? Now, in theory, the Novice Network is intended to be in theory. a place uh -oh. where mentors, experienced players, yeah. who have signed up to be a mentor and we have therefore those. have agreed to actively yes. provide gameplay advice for new adventurers, to be an exemplar yes. for player etiquette, and to invite adventurers little baby sprouts mm -hmm. into the novice network to give them help and to i assume not steal their credit card numbers we'll get to that in a second what? <laughs> as a new player you will get an invite from a mentor to this novice network where you will do people help. take an invite into the novice network as an insult it's like you play really bad and they're like hey man um here uh you're obviously new why don't you uh why don't you come uh come on into the why don't you come into this network here we gotta we gotta work we gotta work with you all right hopefully have some um intellectual enlightening discussions so i mean the question is is the novice network actually helpful is it a ancient athenian agora where fellow students can gather or is it more like baron's chat last night i was asking people about this in my stream and someone said that they had seen scammers in the novice network what trying the? to trick people into giving out their credit card info what and uh, they had seen someone say did you know final fantasy blocks you from posting your card info watch and then just a bunch of x's try oh, it yourself that, that no no that's a fucking meme they do that on 4chan too they're like oh it does it with your social security they, they do it with your social security number too yeah that's like a fucking 2005 meme look not all problems with the novice network aside yeah if you type in your credit card number into a video game to send to another player and press enter like, m maybe you shouldn't be on the internet at all. When I was a new player, the Novice Network had not yet been invented, and so that mm -hmm. is why I reached out on Twitter to ask what your experiences in the Novice Network have been like. It seems your okay. server will have a big impact on what your yeah, local Novice so. Network will be like. One person said that it was only German language in his, and they ignored English-speaking players. One mentor of Mateus said that it is helpful and horrible at the same time that they'll answer Sprout's questions in the middle of flaming each other over the most inane arguments. And the first thing oh I saw God. when I first logged in one so day. So it's like your parents arguing and fighting and then you walk into the room and ask if you can get a pizza and they say yes and they tell you to get the fuck out. That's great. Like what was this feeling of thick and gorging and filling her with of thick made Kesey, she thrashed Um, okay, I fuck? I cannot say that on YouTube. I will have to yeah, I, I guess I censor can. this. Uh, I will rephrase this for y'all. Oh my right. god. For YouTube. Okay, so, um. This is filthy. Feeling the thick pickle, uh, filling her <laughs> with pickled juice made her very happy, too. She thrashed oh him out on god. the floor and squirted her nerf super soaker 200 her mind oh, was God. being shattered from pleasure even as she heard another round the song oh uh, she's reading another it. round oh, she surely would not be able to handle such a thing already being covered in clothes of, of uh, course yeah of course fully clothed and getting ready to oh, go my to church God. actually her tongue was hanging from her lips um because it was raining and she was <laughs> she was a little thirsty oh she my was certainly god. that there are people who take the time to go oh above my and god to help, and there are some who ignore you or say do it yourself <laughs> they're just erping to each other in the novice network one person said that it is pretty much like baron's chat from wow back in the day wow well i mean i learned a lot of important things in baron's chat like the fact that chuck norris doesn't sleep he, he waits, waits. Yeah. Time waits for no man, unless that man is Chuck Norris. One person said that in their novice network, there was a week straight where they only talked about Subarus. <laughs> I only experienced one instance of a mentor abusing oh, their kick ban powers, but they were quickly shut down. Oh, by the God. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of like, are the dickheads outnumbered by the good heads? It's but kind of hard to say. Novice network in Tonberry server is noticeably the chattiest and most welcoming in the whole elemental data center. There are more and more sprouts from other servers visiting Tonberry just 
to join the network. Hey, that's a that's not uh, I, I guarantee you that's not the way art like dude That's crazy because like in WoW, like every single time, the thing is like it, every single time that you have people that are signing up for something because they know a lot about it, there's a lot of people that do that because they think they know everything about it. They don't want to help people out. They want to show off how much they know. They want to tell everybody else what to do, right? Let them know what's going on. So it's not a surprise that you get these kinds of people in there. When I came back and was working through the Stormblood main story, mentors in the Novice Network were talking about and spoiling the 4.3 trial. When I asked them to stop, I was told that anyone that cares about the story has already done it. Oh I my god. To the novice network. Dude, these guys and are such assholes. I sent them into hell. What is this? I definitely will be keeping a better eye on I the I feel bad for them in a way. <laughs> oh my god. Fine. They're gonna be alright. 10% helpful, 90% random, toxic conversations. It feels like the 14 yeah. equivalent of trade chat. I definitely feel like a lot of mentors let the crown get to their heads. That's why people started calling it the Burger King crown. It's because Oh, they I have just one of those. Trying to make it seem less cool than it is. Yeah. The choice of a crown to be the mentor icon was very poor. It should have been a watering can because you're helping us route, right? Zodiac was. I think the, the the thing with the mentor crown, the reason why it's toxic, I think a big reason why it, it's it's seen that way, is also because they have like rewards attached to it. So you have a lot of people that become mentors like i'll become a mentor at some point right if i can so i can start working towards the mount and that's what ends up happening is that you have people that are they're not there to help other people they're there for the mount that's it that that's all that's all they give a shit about like yeah they'll help somebody if they ask for it but they're mainly there for the mount and that's why the system is uh, is problematic. I opted not to use it. The one time I did try, some creeper asked me for feet pics, so I left. That sucks, and uh, I, I know, because I have had people ask oh. me for feet pics as well. And, um, you know, I, personally, I, I don't really mind uh, showing those pictures. So I, I think I'll just put my picture uh, right here on YouTube so people won't ask. I've never seen a more belligerent cesspool God with a million different clicks that openly give oh new players God. wrong information in my life. Oh. Some mentors are grumpy and get mad if you have a different opinion from them. Well, I mean, yep. I've been on the internet more than one day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a mentor specific thing. I think that just happens with anybody. I think, I think most of us can handle that. I haven't been part of it. I didn't know about it, and then I've watched enough videos to not want to. Oh yeah, you don't need Elvis Network, because you got my videos, right? Okay. It's my videos, right? Yeah, of course. Mostly nice, but there was one person in Phoenix who begged for help on almost every single main story dungeon, because he didn't want to do them synced because it was too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's like a wow, man. Like, there's people, they'll just sit around and they won't even want to do the quest themselves. They'll just like, like, man, could somebody, man, do somebody come and kill this mob? This harvest golem, man. He just can't, man. He goes so fast. He hits so hard. He got so much health, man. Fuck. And, like, that's what it is. It's sad, but there it is. <laughs> that's so sad. I know that mentors get a lot of crap and a lot of it is deserved, but you don't hear a lot about the people that are just very, very needy and clingy and yeah. don't want to try at all. As a mentor, want to get I go out of my way to be helpful and generous. I like taking care of sprouts. I like being Aww. a teacher, but apparently that's not the norm. I see a lot of unhelpful or needlessly rude mentors out there. I hope all my sprouts remember me. Oh my god. When I was in it, it got oh spammed god. with a person trying to marry other players. So I left it again. So this one person ruined it. What the fuck? Probably Charlie. What the fuck is with these Someone people, man? The erotic role play that's happening. What is with Zodiac these people? Novice Network. Maybe they are teaching the novice oh my erotic god. role players. Honestly, a complete sh fest. The amount of arguing and self-centered ego boosting from the majority yeah. of mentors in there was unbearable. Really great in my experience. However, spoilers are common. Yeah, I'll bet. My advice to people is that if you want to be helpful, help the sprouts. You don't need mentor status or the novice network. 
It's a gimmick and rarely used for its intended purpose. That is the most based comment I've seen in a while. Yeah, what? I guess that's the case, right? I mean, like, I wish that WoW had something like that. Like, they tried to do their own, like, novice network thing. And to be honest, like, it's just complete shit. Like, it, it is complete shit. It's like, in order to accomplish it, in order to, uh, to, to get into the network, you have to complete LFR. It's like, oh, th thank God. You know, we have somebody, he was able to complete LFR. Well, now he really knows what he's doing here with the raid. Yeah, thank God. I went to Novice Network it's ridiculous. when I became a mentor. I was actually excited to help, and then I got attacked by other mentors for being a try-hard. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it seems like there is this divide between people that want to use Novice Network for its intended mm -hmm. purpose and people that want to use it as a general chat. Absolutely fantastic. I taught the mentors how to play the game. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I swear, the only thing the Novice Network is used for is finding other people with similar kinks as you to ERP. <laughs> there was a Sprout who had a lot of questions about crafting. ERP habits. stream? Yeah, of course. I did course. my best to explain everything I could, and he added me later, and then we started to hang out. I treated him like I'd treat anyone in my friends list. Formal, but friendly. Yeah. He joined a free company and knew people there. The lad was growing up, and I was happy he found a place so he can hang out with other people. Aww. Later, he told me, I broke up with my girlfriend in real life, and now she wants me to leave her apartment, and I have only a week. And I was like, oh no, do you have a place to stay? Friends. Yeah. Family. And he said, no, I did it for you. <laughs> yep. I was hoping I'd stay with you, which gave me the <laughs> creep. Yep. So I told him right away, yep. I did not feel that way towards him at all. And he should call someone. Yeah, there's a lot of guys. Uh, it, it's like, it, and you know, you know, like, I mean, there's a good point. You've got to keep this in mind, right? There's a point why it, that guy might have just been lying. But like, does it really matter if he was lying or not? Because, like, if you're a girl, you're put in that position down bad. Bro, this guy's in the middle of the, this guy's in the core of the earth. Like, it's, it doesn't get any, it doesn't get any farther down than that. That's nuts. Oh, my God. He had a girlfriend to begin with. Yeah, it's like, you know, this is a fake story. Uh, at least he's telling her a fake story because he said he had a girlfriend to begin with. Like, that. there's no way that's true. So, number one, there's that. Number two, yeah. I mean, dude, some guys, like, what does he think? What what is what is, what is like his best case scenario like in his mind like how did this play out? That's what I always wonder whenever I hear stories like this. And he knows if he wants a place to stay. He got yeah. mad and then told everyone in the novice network that I have been leading him on. And then the other sprouts mentors in his FC oh started to say the same thing, <laughs> blaming me for his decision. Oh my god. Until I left the whole server behind. I'm so sorry to laugh because it seems like you got a lot of sh crap for this. It's so um, ridiculous. Yeah, see. That's so crazy. <laughs> like, these are the kinds of, like, these mentally ill, crazy individuals are what really make MMO special. You know, these, like, people that are, are using the game as, like, basically a replacement for <laughs> medication that they so desperately need. That's the real MMO experience. <laughs> Did it for you. Ooh. On Midgard's armor, we have a sprout that's always making trouble. Even making sexual advances at times, stirring the of pot. Of course. And all the mentors can do is boot him out for 30 minutes. And then it's he so comes back. What? It doesn't look like GMs are even looking at reports. <laughs> so he's probably like, the thing is, it, it's, it, guys, it's not... It's not rich, okay? It's not rich. <laughs> Chill, dude. Yeah, it's not rich. No, I think it's so fucking funny, man. It's amazing. Uh, I, I love it. You can only boot them out for 30 minutes at a time. Wow. I almost feel like I shouldn't say that on YouTube because, um, but maybe it's better for me to draw attention to the problem. Maybe something will be done about it because if someone is like a huge, yeah, he's a weirdo. Disruptive, you gotta get you rid of the weirdo solution than that. Someone said that they needed a dungeon for Realm Reborn main story quest, and they asked the Novice Network if anyone was willing to help. Okay. Three people came around, and surely they helped me clear the dungeon. One oh. of them friended me afterwards, and I thought it was all chill, so I accepted the uh -oh. invite. But right the next day, they started following me to where I was progressing through the main story quest. 
asked if I needed any more help on anything, and then proceeded... You see, they forgot very, very crucial information. Were they playing a female character with a female character sounding name? Now, if that's a yes, then I think that we all know what's going on here. Yes, that's the Asmongold treatment. This is the Asmongold experience right here. This is what happens to me. I have people that follow me around even off stream. And they'll like they'll take screenshots next to me, and like if somebody sees me somewhere, they take screenshots next to me. It's that's I, like how would that like what how crazy would you have to be for that to bother you? But like following you around, like in WoW, it was even worse. Like I would AFK in a city, and I would come back, and there would be like a little fucking circle of people around me making comments about me and talking about me. Like and sometimes I would just see that, and I would just log off. I'd be like, I'm not dealing with this. I am just logging off right now. I will not come back and give them the satisfaction that I ever saw them or interacted with them at all. It's just, it's so fucking awkward and weird, man. It's insane. To ask if I could get out. It's of like the a party circus animal, so you know. Part of their party, needing the party chat to be able to talk to my friend, who was on the free trial to level sixty. I asked why they wanted me to do that, and they said so they could follow me around doing the main story quest. Yeah. During the conversation while trying to think of what to say, they commented multiple times on how they really like the way my character looks. And when I said that I was a bit uncomfortable with them following me everywhere, they said, oh, don't worry. If that's the case, yep. just invite me to your party and I'll watch you from afar. It won't be a problem. You won't notice. <laughs> I felt this was super Oh creepy. my I felt god. Really uncomfortable. So I said, do as you will, but my friend isn't willing See, to. See, this is like one thing y'all need to keep in mind. There's a lot of guys that think that like girls live life on easy mode. This is the uh, this is the dark side to that. Is it yes, obviously it's easy for you to maybe find a boyfriend and you've got more options of picking boyfriends. But you also have to deal with this. It is really bad. I invite you to the party and then teleported to my next main story quest location. They private messaged me and said that they weren't expecting to lose me so quickly. And at this point, I was asking my friend if I could somehow not show my location to them. Yeah. Then later, they saw that I was in Ishgard and spoiled a really important part of the story, I think out of spite. Oh my god. I ended up banning the user with my friend's help, but to this day, this is the main reason I what don't friend What the fuck? People, unless I know them. So creepy. It's super Fucking don't weirdos, worry. man. Don't worry. Just invite me to your party and I'll watch you from afar. Oh my you god. You really should be able to hide your location on the map. I asked them to send me a picture of their character since this person was obsessed with the way their character looked. Wait. Every quest you take, every kill you make, Wait, what? It's not even a female character. I used it when I returned to the game what? the first time. And not trying to sound I'm so confused. I think they were trying to help, but I would log in and within seconds they would ask if I needed help. Yep. And then they would find me and just keep sending me messages even after I told them I was good or I hadn't decided on what I was gonna do that day. Oh yep. my god, that would drive me insane. Hey, it's weird. were they also asking if they could watch you from afar? I got their binoculars out. That's so I think you fucking met the same crazy, mentor. Man. One person said that when they were new, they were harassed in the novice network, so they left. And now, as a mentor, there's one or two mentors who hang out there all day long and actively make the channel worse. Not with yeah, I wonder why harassment, but picking arguments with other people, always insisting their opinions are right, yep. complaining when Sprouts bring up topics that they're tired of discussing, etc. So it sucks that the ego of one or two people can make such an otherwise helpful resource worse. Well, it's the same thing with like guilds, right? You ever have a guild that, that just like gets worse because of one guy who's annoying? Like there's one guy that just makes the whole guild suck. That's what it's like, man. Entire server. Yeah, it seems Basic like cat just girl. getting 1,500 commendations doesn't really mean anything since anyone can get commendations from playing a tank or a healer in a dungeon and not even saying anything the whole time. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's that hard. I mean, you just need to put in the time. Yep. You don't necessarily have to be kind and helpful to get commendations. So I feel like we need a different kind of reputation system to establish a certain mentors is actually helpful. I don't even, I don't know what though. Maybe we, maybe we should do like Google reviews. Carried me through Eden Savage, but asked for feet pics afterwards. Four, four wait, stars. four stars? Novice Network a mistake. 
Is this whole system a mistake or have you actually been one of the people to have good experiences? There was like a fair bit of people who said- No, as I said, I think the whole problem, like 80% of the problem with this is probably because there's rewards attached to it. Because people do it for a reason that's not to help other people. They do it for their rewards. That's what it is. On their server, the novice network is very good. It does seem to be very server dependent and maybe even time of day dependent, you know, mm -hmm. it just depends on yeah. are the helpful people online right now. In general, after reading through this, I kind of feel like finding a helpful, good FC is much better because then you will be able to stay with them long after you lose your Sprout status. So again, I encourage yeah. people to check the community finder on Lodestone and try to find a good FC. That there does seem to be a general consensus among everybody who had good or bad experiences in the network that the mentor system needs a rework of some kind that the requirements to become a mentor are too lax or we need um just some better way to show that someone is actually consistently helpful i was memeing about the review system earlier but now that's what that they should do about it a little more i wonder if there yeah. could be a separate type of commendation that a mentor could only get from sprouts, sprouts who yeah. are in the novice network or in the that's mentor smart. roulette and that's they actually have to smart. get a certain number of those to like reapply for their mentor certi certification yeah. like they would have to uh keep the certification up and reapply that's a good every idea once in a while, every few months maybe so that's like a real certification in real life remain a mentor remain what the hell that can be active in the mentor chat i'm not sure though that's what just a random fuck, idea dude? i threw out there Funds, if you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. That's or so on crazy you to can me. Also support the channel for free. By Yelp reviews, yeah, button, exactly. Or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of light. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's a good video. I, I like that. I, I actually, it's crazy how many people, as I said, are just fucking insane, and they get on the internet. And then you just don't know, like, you, you can't, like, you don't know what to do about them. You don't know what to say about them. They're just fucking nuts, man.